Architecture was Richard's true calling. He loved all kinds of art and enjoyed imagining and designing spaces which would be both beautiful and useful for people. However, he didn't feel fully realized as an architect. He worked at a well-established architecture studio, but considered that they didn't give him enough opportunities to grow professionally. And right there is where Richard heard about a project that many renowned architects were flat out rejecting. The restoration of a monastery in Eastern Europe. The place seemed to be pretty mystical, but around it existed an ancient and macabre legend. Richard had never heard about that temple before, so he soon started to research it. He made a web search for the Arges Monastery, and he soon started to see many websites talking about the myth of Master Manoli, who was the original master builder of the monastery. Nine workers were under his command, and together they had to follow the king's orders. However, as much as they advanced with the construction during the day, all they built would crumble during the night for no logical reason. Then one night, Manoli heard a voice in his dream saying that a human sacrifice was necessary for the monastery to be built. And so Manoli decided to trap within the temple walls the first woman to come visit the place. He believed that was the only way to finally end the curse. The next day, Master Manoli told his decision to his workers. They were horrified, but since they didn't want to suffer the consequences of not fulfilling the king's orders, they all accepted. However, what Manoli didn't take into account was that his wife would be the first woman to visit the monastery. He prayed for that to not happen, even hoping a storm would break to dissuade her from coming. But no matter what stood in her way, Anna determinedly traveled to the temple to visit her husband, and that was her doom. As soon as they saw her, the workers surrounded Manoli's wife. Anna didn't understand what was happening, but thought it was all just a prank. However, she realized that wasn't the case when she saw the concrete walls that surrounded her completely. She was trapped, and then she started to desperately cry for help. However, nobody helped her, not even her husband. Anna spent three torturous days entombed within the monastery's walls until she finally perished. The myth says that thanks to her death, the monastery ended up looking very beautiful and, in fact, when the king finally went to see the fully built temple, he was mesmerized by it. He was so impressed that he wanted to test the limits of the legend. He asked the workers if they would be capable of building something even more beautiful than the monastery, so they immediately responded that they would. And so, the king trapped them all in the higher section of the monastery and blocked all possible escape routes. The workers perished trying to get out, and it is said that just where Manoli fell, a spring appeared. Richard was fascinated by that legend. He knew it was all a lie, but he was intrigued by how someone would be willing to destroy what they loved the most in order to make a building more beautiful. In a way, Richard admired Manoli, and so he decided to talk to his boss and offer himself as a volunteer to lead the monastery's restoration. All other architects have rejected the project, so Richard was quickly sent to Romania by plane. Once there, he struggled to find workers willing to work in the restoration, since most of the locals were absolutely terrified of that temple. However, he eventually managed to gather a group of willing workers, and they all headed to the monastery. Richard was very excited, but his excitement soon turned into desperation. From the very beginning, everything started to go wrong. He knew all the calculations were correct, but the walls just kept on crumbling. It was as if the walls didn't want to be built. And on top of that, when they demolished one of the old walls, they found bones behind it. The skull among them made it clear that those were human bones, proving that the legend was true after all. Many of the workers quit after witnessing that scene. The scratches and impact marks on the inside walls showed how much that poor person suffered trapped in there. It was absolutely terrifying. 
But strangely enough, Richard was not scared. Quite the opposite. He got excited again, and remembering Manole, he promised himself to do anything he could to restore the monastery. There was a watchman in charge of guard in the monastery at night. Richard waited for the guard's shift to start. He then grabbed a construction tool and swiftly hit the guard on the head with it. The watchman collapsed to the floor, but didn't die. Then someone suddenly restrained the architect and called the police. It was another guard Richard didn't know about. After many psychological evaluations, Richard was interned into a psychiatric center. But even there, the twisted architect kept on planning how to finish his work. He thoroughly designed an escape strategy, also planning who to use for the sacrifice. And so one night, he managed to trick his own sister to help him escape. When they went out of the psychiatric center, the sister asked Richard where were they going. He responded, we are going to the Arches Monastery. Will she get out of there alive? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.